Hi everyone, it's Jenny with Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. And we're on YouTube and Instagram at Joey143Jenny. And we're also on Facebook at Joey and Jenny's Little Yellow House. So today I just wanted to do a really quick craft. I wanted to get in the studio today and work, but I am very limited on time today. So I thought, well, I wonder if I can bust out a few things just to say that I got a chance to craft today. So I got out an old yearbook that I had purchased at a flea market a few years back. And aren't these pictures wonderful? Best dressed. Look at that. Class favorites. Look at these dresses. So different than what you see today. How beautiful. Wow, look at all of that. Tuxedos look so great. I love the haircuts. So pretty. Anyway, so I got that out and I thought, oh, that'll be fun to work with. Um, I think this year, 1958. You can see that I still have all that sewing to put away. I organized it, just deciding what to do with each piece. And so I have it sitting there to put away. Just haven't gotten to it yet. And of course, as you can see, I decided to play instead of organize that. So here's the elements that I wanted to play with today. Um, I really wanted to doctor up just some plain old envelopes. I got a case, you know, a small case. I don't know. I'm looking over there. I think it has 500 envelopes in it. I mean, I guess it's a large case <laughs> of these envelopes. And I don't know. Um, I don't know if these still stick. I'm, I'm not sure what the situation is, but I use them a lot in journals and I coffee dye them and everything, but I thought I would just use them as they are today. Maybe we'll do a little distress ink on them. I don't know, but what I thought I would do is just quickly place something there, place four of them down. And I think I'm going to just do four at a time. I say that we'll see what happens. I'm going to do four at a time and I'm going to do it in the kind of in a master board collage type of way. So I've got my scratch paper here. I better scooch a little bit. I've got my scratch paper here. I'm leaving a little bit of space to cut. I've got my paper to glue. I pulled out some pages from vintage books. This is a shorthand book typing, mathematics, uh, literary, yeah, literary something. I don't know. All vintage. So I thought those would look kind of neat. So what I want to do is let's just collage on here, maybe do a little bit of stamping. And then, um, I've got out some tickets, more tickets, then I have some things that I have cut out that are in ephemera book I can grab. And then I've just got some pictures that I cut out from year, this yearbook. And it looks like another yearbook because one's shiny, one's really not. Look at this picture of Mr. Adams. I don't know. I just thought that was very debonair. Uh, so he is the vocational agriculture teacher, sponsor, what have you. I found it interesting how he was dressed. He doesn't, maybe that's just how the, they dress. Maybe they didn't do a lot of things in the field. Because look, he has argyle socks on, some really nice shoes, this wonderful, shiny dress shirt. And then, of course, he's very busy with all the multiple lines on his phone. Yeah, I thought that was an interesting picture. <laughs> we'll see what we do with uh, Mr. Adams. I don't know if we'll get to him today, but let's go ahead and just tear. I'm just going to fussy tear some of these. If I can, this paper is interesting. It's not wanting to, it's almost like it has a cross grain in it or something. Let's save that. Yeah, this one, this way tears much better. Okay. I'm just going to get the border off and we'll go from there. Wow. Hmm. 
Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear it down the center ish <laughs> and get some glue. Glue this down. Just using the Uhu. Um, I don't mind using the Elmer's. Oh gosh, this is warm. It's really melty. The Elmer's Extra Bond. When I do collage, it seems to to work really, really well. So I'm just gonna put this down. Hopefully somewhat straight. Okay. Get rid of this right here. Yeah, so I have a lot to do today. Um, and I'm kind of on a little bit of a time schedule. So lots of errands and I'm baking today. So I want to get some things done. Um, and then Joey and I have somewhere to go this evening. So I want to be, I want to make sure everything's done before he gets home from work. So. Okay. I think I'll put this on this other side. Okay. Yeah, so it's been kind of a fun, busy week. Um, if you saw my Instagram, this was my my mom's birthday week. So I was excited to be able to share her birthday with her. And uh, I want to tell you one of the best gifts I think my mom got. Maybe I already mentioned this. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, I've got two pages here. No wonder that's tough. My, da my oldest daughter... She had my mom got wonderful gifts from everybody. I'm just saying that this is a very interesting and unique gift if you're ever looking for a gift for someone. Uh and what my daughter did was she purchased an old hymnal of songs that most hymnals, you know, um you're going to, they're going to be older songs for the most part, you know? And anyway, so she purchased this old hymnal and gave that to my mom for her birthday. And my mom has been so delighted. She's kind of using it as like a daily, uh, devotion. She's reading and singing as at least a song a day. And oh my gosh, doesn't that just make your heart glow? <laughs> The sweetest. I'll just put that right there. Okay, we're getting there. I'm going to save this one. It has a little bit of a green tint, and I just don't know that I kind of want to keep this a little bit more neutral. Uh, I think we need some stuff going across, so... What do I want to do? Ooh, this one really tears. Keep all of these because I'll stamp something on it maybe. Hmm. Save that. Try to figure it out. I'm trying when I do these like collage things, I try not to think too hard, but sometimes I feel like I'm going to get, um, so, it, with words, I'm going to get some goofy break, you know, so I, oopsie, that one. Yikes. Let's just put it right like that. That one completely got stuck to 
my glue page, so it might be ready to give it a flip over. Okay, now let's see about this one. I loved typing. I love typing class. I think I mentioned to you before that I had a couple of after school jobs and one of them didn't get out till midnight or later. And typing fell right after lunch. So typing and shorthand was kind of like a twofold deal. And I um, often fell asleep in that class. <laughs> Adored my teacher, though. She was super sweet. Super sweet. I ended up dropping shorthand. So, okay, let's just see. Let's just see how we are right now. Let's go ahead and cut it. I think I'm just going to use a pair of old scissors so I don't get too much glue because I can feel they're still a little bit gummy. Try not to fold the or cut the, uh, you know, the envelope because you can use this as like a, oh, you could use it, you know, as a tuck. Like you can put something in it and then put it in a, put it in a um, pocket. You could do that. You could wrap it around. A page you know you could hinge it I like to use the flap I not on all of them but I do like to use the flap as a hinge and then what's fun is to then put it as the spot you know at the spine oh yeah it looks like I got some clean in here to do Let's see a bit glue on that so what what I mean is I'll show you here in just a second let me get this one cut out you could easily put two together as well but if you use this as the hinge and then let's say you have a, another page that you want to put in your journal you could go ahead and glue that down and then put this in your signature. So it would bend like that and be easy to do. All right. Try not to cut this envelope up. So these we're just going to make, and then you could embellish them with maybe a little bit of color or something, depending on what, you know, journal you're going to put them in. And I can see me putting a little bit of flannel for maybe adding to a winter journal. Or, you know, if you're doing like a student journal or something, I can see adding a little flannel to it, some fun buttons or something. I think I might have cut that one, actually. Okay. Okay, so now, okay, this one's upside down. Yeah, this one's upside down. So, this one, what would I do with this one? Let's see. Did I do them all upside down? That one's upside down too. Oh boy. And that one's upside down and this one's right side up. Okay. So this would be What am I going to do with this? Can you believe it? Oh, 
All right, I'll figure it out. My mind is not cooperating right now as to what I can do with it that way. But I will figure something out. Maybe not in this video, <laughs> but I will. So I'm going to turn it the way the lettering is going. Or maybe what I'll do is, let's see, this one is right. So I'm going to keep that one right. I think what I'm going to do is turn two of them maybe lengthways like that. Okay. Now I want to put some... Now I'm going to put a little bit of stamp on it. Oopsie. Yep, I've thrown myself a loop, but remember it's only paper and we will recover. I will figure something out. Okay, I got that. Oh my gosh, what in the world? Okay. I like that. Alrighty. And then I wanted to also do this one. This one I think I'm gonna <coughs> use black. I'll go like that. Might as well do it all in one. <laughs> yeah, so I hope everybody gets a chance to get in the craft room, even if it's like me, you know, 30 minutes here I'm gonna hope to fussy cut some but we'll see okay all right just stamp that off a little bit and then I think how about library and with the library uh oh look at this Get my wanky. A little smidge of it. I have to get some alcohol. But it is a craft table, so I'm overly concerned about it. And then I'm gonna do this. Scissors. It can go away. So we're going to print going every which way, which is probably for the better because of the goof that I made with the orientation of the paper or of the envelopes. That's all right. Okay. I'll take care of those later. I promise. I know I've got a pile over here from the last time, but <laughs> I will take care of them. Okay, now let's see. Okay, so we've got paper down. Let's get our people out. I'm not going to use Mr. Adams this time. So what I've done is I've cut these out of their pages, and I'm going to use them where they're blocked. So... Like she would sit down here at the bottom. I'm not going to glue yet because I want to see exactly, you know, where I want to put everybody. All 
Let's see. How does his... Oh, yeah. He's going to... Let's see. Is this one that's... Yeah. So I think the typewriter is on the horizon type of thing. He's leaning over it. This must be an athletic director because there's trophies behind him. Oh my gosh, I love this picture. Look at the smile. Isn't that a wonderful smile? So he must be the drafting or mechanical engineering or some something like that teacher. Yeah, let's use those. Um, put the rest of them back for another time. Just add that to my mess. And then I thought I would use tickets. I'd like this guy to stand, stand on something. Something like that. Maybe. Let's put him down. Let's get him. Let us get him down. Then that way we'll have one done. Yeah. I'm quiet, thinking, thinking, thinking. Okay, let's see where my placement is. I've been going, going, going this morning, today, and uh, washed my hair um, and haven't done a thing with it. Have you ever heard that saying? Uh, and with naturally curly hair, you got to get right on it as soon as you wash it because it will become a Brillo pad in no time. So I wanted to get in here, but as soon as I'm done, I can tell it's already starting to frizz. So I got to get right on it. So his foot is a little bit square down at the bottom at the toe because he was... Um, Oh, excuse the reach. He was cut off at the at the photo. You know, if you if you have only known digital photos, you don't know the struggle <laughs> of taking a good photo back in the day when all you had to do is when all you could do is look through that little teeny hole and just hope for the best, you know. Okay, there's one down. And then we can always, you know, go around it. Don't you worry about what, what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to figure it out. And then I'll show you the ones that I did upside down. But I think they look fun. I think they look really fun. Very nostalgic. Okay, what about, I'm going to call her Miss Anderson. That was my typing teacher. That was her name. Let's see if we have any pretty pink. Let's just put it down and see in a minute what do we have here. Here's one. 
<clears throat> Man, I hope they still make these tickets. I go through them and I haven't bought any in a long, long time. I hope they make some. They, I mean, I hope they still make them. I think they just look really authentic. What are they called? Where's my ticket book? Keeping it simple. Okay. Do you want it all the way down? I kind of feel like I want it all the way to the crick of her elbow there. And then I feel like this is like an afterthought. Maybe she'll get a flower. I'm kind of wanting to keep these all kind of the same though. I don't mind it. I'm going to go for it. Take her off. I know where she goes. This is right above to create. Okay. And then I think when I put her in one, depending on where, what I put it in, whether it's Christmas or uh, whatever, I'm going to put a flower with her. I think it would be very pretty, like up in here. As a matter of fact, I think with this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave uh, it to be a little pocket. Then, if I do decide to put a flower, I can tuck it behind the pocket even. Now, Mrs. Anderson. I think I had two teachers named Miss Mrs. Anderson. I think my third grade teacher was also Mrs. Anderson. I tried one time to remember all of my teachers' names. And, you know, like growing up and elementary and stuff like that. Couldn't do it. Now, my kindergarten teacher's name was Mrs. Offenkamp. And she was something. Then, first grade, I had Miss Parks. She smelled so good. <laughs> I loved her. She had the most beautiful clothing I'd ever seen. She... She was absolutely beautiful. Hmm. Because these, you know, are, I'm trying to put them the way that they were in the, that one I might have to even up, the way that they were in the picture, you know, they were just in square pictures, kind of like Mr. Adams' picture was. Uh, you don't, they're off, you know, you're off a little bit. So you don't have like, um, that's kind of the same thing. You're not using them as your centerpiece. They're your focal point, but they're not in the center. So it is a little bit more of a challenge, but it's fun. So I'll be adding to these guys, probably put 
I don't know, maybe something wildernessy ish something. Looking for here's one. I mean, it's just kind of a, I just don't know if he's going to get to or not. He may just get one. Definitely we'll use his in something special. Just that smile is so wonderful. I need to look up and see the home ec pictures. See what those look like. Let's see. Cut that one off a little bit. Yeah, this one I'm going to have to trim a little bit because I can tell I cut it crooked. Let's see. Where's that little one at? I'm going to put it there. I'm either going to cut it or wrap it, but I don't want to decide that just yet. Put it all the way down to the bottom. Kind of shear this up a little bit, shore it up with the shears. Well, I don't know if that'll bend, so I might have to score it. Okay, we'll see. Maybe I'll just cut it off. Okay. Pickle jar. <laughs> All right, one more. I like this guy too. I thought he looked really neat. But I, um, right here he was standing behind a desk. And um, what colors do we have left? He was standing behind a desk. And so I cut the desk off. Hmm. Now I'm wondering what to do. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Wonder if I can raise him up a little bit. Let me see about this one. If we can make him a desk out of, oh, good grief, out of this uh, ticket here. Okay, I'm not going to go, oopsie, I'm not going to go all the way to the top on this one because I want to tuck him behind it a little bit.
whoopsie I didn't realize I had that it was so much long longer so we'll be cutting a little bit of that off too okay let's put him down it was hard on some of these to decide which side to cut because the pictures are so cool if you ever get a chance to get you a a vintage yearbook they're super fun to use even the you know the words and stuff okay so that's gonna sit on there whoopsie that's gonna sit on there and then get it open without making too big of a mess here yeah I'm gonna make too big of a mess but he's gonna try to tuck it down in there There we go. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And now, how about a theater ticket? Yeah. Oh, I already got one out. This is fine, too. What is that? That's another theater ticket. Oh. Detroit. Okay. And then I'm going to just cut this off. jar I like them I like them tidy up just for a second here got things everywhere there we go oops Well, I thought this was going to be a really short video, but I've already taken almost 40 minutes. But it was fun. Super fun. Now, I'm going to go run errands, do some baking, and get all ready. These are going to be so fun. I'm going to think on it. I got to think on it and determine what am I going to do? How am I going to use the ones that I did, you know, kind of upside down? I think it helped that some of the stamps that I did went a little bit wonky, you know? Because now that this is going this way too, lengthwise, um, I can easily hinge this in going this way, so that'll be helpful. This guy has a nice smile, too. They all look like they were great teachers and sponsors of whatever they did. I love them. Yeah, really like them. I think they'll be fun to do. You know, put in something. I'm going to, I kind of think that Miss Anderson is going to be Christmas. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I really like them. I like how they turned out. So thanks for hanging with me here. I'll, I'll zoom you in and see if you can see them a little closer. I like them. So, you know, it's it's unusual for us to 
to have an off-centered focal point. Now these guys are pretty much in the center, but he's really dropped down. She's way over in the corner, but um, it does challenge you for sure. But I like the way they turned out. I think they're super fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, just remember, we pray blessings over each of you and we want you to know you're so loved. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.